And right now, hundreds of high school students in Cherokee County are back in class. They've been learning from home since last month when their schools had to close because of coronavirus outbreaks. Our Rebecca Schramm, live outside Etowah High School right now. And Rebecca, the schools seem to be taking more precautions. What have you noticed since you've been there? Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Karen. Yeah, for now, they are learning in a hybrid model, not just here at Etowah High School, but also at two other Cherokee County high schools. And I tell you, students, they seem happy to be returning after that three week shutdown. On this first day back since their school had to shut down because of the coronavirus, we saw several students wearing masks before they even walked through the doors of Etowah High School. Masks are not required in Cherokee County schools. And this photo that circulated on the first day of school showing seniors bunched together, not a single mask in sight, raised eyebrows. But senior Anthony Buckland tells me there was a lot of mask wearing before the shutdown. I did, I'd say like three-fourths of the school, yeah. So it was actually really like encouraging. Still, there were so many positive cases, school leaders decided to temporarily close three Cherokee County schools, Etowah, Woodstock, and Creekview High Schools. They've now officially reopened under a hybrid model that runs at least through October 9th. Here's how it works. All students will learn virtually from home on Wednesdays. The remainder of the week, students are divided according to their last name. This does not affect students enrolled in digital learning. Yeah, I prefer the in-person school to the online school. Senior Joey Hilberg hopes students will take more precautions now. Honestly, I don't really know how students are gonna deal with it because, you know, they're students. But right. yeah, it's... I, th I hope so. Anthony certainly plans to wear his mask. Yeah, I just want to graduate on time, so whatever I have to do, I'll do at this point. And by the way, I've learned 27% of students here at Etowah High School chose strictly remote learning. And right now, with only half of the remaining students in school at the same time, it certainly makes social distancing a little easier. Live in Woodstock, Rebecca Schramm, CBS 46 News. It sure does. And Rebecca,